You guys, we are here at this lavish backstage place. It's a trailer backstage at the Love and Life Music Festival with Jesse Murph, everybody. Hey, Jesse. Hello. We love her so much. Hello. Good to see I you. I love y'all too. <laughs> well, Jesse, we play so much Wild Ones on Kiss. We love meeting you. We love having you here. Welcome to the Queen City. Thank you. How are you liking it? I love it. I love Charlotte. It reminds me of home. Which is? Oh, they love uh, it's like a little similar. I mean, it was. Yeah, he's it was. Yeah, <laughs> it's feeling quite similar. For sure. I'm from South Florida, so like the wow. humidity here, I'm like, yeah. I like it though. I do too. People hate on humidity. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't. I don't like it. But uh, you know, I'm from New Jersey, and we didn't have a lot of that. And then I moved down here, and the mosquitoes are that big, oh. and the humidity is is crazy. Uh, but performing, you you can't like to perform in like a humid environment right i mean yeah no you got a point right yeah. probably indoors <laughs> over outdoors would that be it depends fair to say it depends it depends on the crowd you know yeah the energy i think yeah but outdoors can be fun you get a tan while performing would you rather so, are you a cold weather person or warm weather being from uh oh the south that's actually a really good question i don't know i feel like dressing wise there's so much more okay. you the cold weather oh that's true like a little wear. bit more fashion right. but but i love so much okay just beach or mountains? Beach. What about you? Beach. Yeah. I'm South Florida. Florida. Yeah. It'd be crazy if you said that. I, feel, I have to live on a paddleboard, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Paddleboard? Love paddleboard. I've always wanted to try. Yeah. Just to wrap up the weather at 73, so we can move on with sorry, the weather. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But, uh, but anyway, so when you when you play like a festival, Jesse, what, what's it like to come up with your set list? I mean, as opposed to playing like a smaller venue where maybe it's a little more intimate. Do you put some thought into what you're going to do and the order you're going to play the songs? Does it make a difference? It definitely makes a difference. I try not to play as much like unreleased songs because not everybody there knows who you are. Sure. So fast. Yeah. 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 Um, wow. So I definitely took that into account. I just got finished with the tour, so I already have my whole set list. In the sticks? Yes, in the right. sticks, just for that. Um, so yeah, a lot of it was from the tour, but definitely some adjustments. So we're playing you on Kiss, which is the top 40 station, but you Got a little lean in country. Who are some of your biggest inspirations when it comes to music? Mm, in general? Yeah. My biggest is probably Adele. Okay. Yeah. Since I was a little lover. Drake. Little Baby. Six Slack. Chris Stapleton. Amy Winehouse. You're kind of like all over the place. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All big voices, though. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. all very specific voices. Yeah. Those are some of my faves. Do you always dream of getting on stage in front of people? Was that your dream since you were little? Yeah. Also, just like being able to make music. It always, I know everybody says this, but it really is such a form of therapy for me. And it kind of has just like taken me where it's taken me, but it's always been about me just needing to like get stuff out. When you're producing music and you're feeling the music and you're picking songs and you're writing songs, do you, do you feel like you write more from um, a perspective that's inner or outer? Definitely inner. Like, it's definitely, I don't know if I'm selfish or what, but every time I'm writing, I'm like, if I don't feel it or if I'm not going through it, I it's so hard. Do to you have it. to go through it, though, to, yeah. like, really feel the music? Yeah, for yeah. it to be authentic, I feel like, yeah. yeah. Do you get the lyrics? Like, because I know some, and I love talking to artists. We both do, which is why I think the songwriting portion of it and, and the way you come up with the music is, is so important. Do you have Are you a beat person where you have a beat and then the lyrics come after? Or are you a lyrics person and then, and then you fill it in with the beat? I normally, I can't write to beats. I normally write to, like, the piano or a guitar. It's really very simple, like, mm -hmm. stripped back. And then I'll start singing melodies, and the lyrics will just, like, come out of me as I go. So, depending on how I'm feeling. So, you get to work with Jelly Roll. What's that like? Dude, incredible. I don't know if y'all met him. He's no, everywhere right now. Oh, my God. You have You're to more, meet him. Yeah. We're happy to be here with you. Dude, he's the nicest He's blown guy. up. Yeah. yeah. He's doing his thing, and he deserves that. He's, like, truly the nicest guy I've ever met in my entire life. He's aw I mean, he's such awesome. a sweet man. Yeah. Social media has changed the game. Truly. For artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I feel like, you know, we get to hear you, we get to hear Jelly, and it just, it, it blows you up so more, so much more. But I also think it can be kind of a dangerous thing to have that connection, the direct connection with the audience as well. Yeah. Because not everybody is so nice. And do people feel like they know you? What, like, when you meet people and, you know, meet and greets, and do they know things about your life that you're like, 
Yeah, we I watch, we watch every one of your TikToks. We see every one of your Well, entries. and I just think, like, I'm a big Riley Green fan, and, like, Riley Green just had, like, a bag sitting in the back of, like, one of his acoustic things that he posted on social media and they're like oh my god you have a girlfriend and he's like it's my duffel <laughs> like, yeah. but That's do people crazy. feel like they kind of know what's going on in your life i feel like i mean maybe because i do share a lot of my life um especially like earlier on i would just post anything and everything and now i'm like jesse like you don't do that <laughs> but never anything creepy i like everybody i've met has been so nice they're always so kind and so sweet and just like i don't know it's just been great interactions. Okay. That's good. What's coming up? Lastly. Um, lastly. Lastly, and, and and then we'll let you get back to the lavish life of the, <laughs> the beautiful backstage camper. But what is uh, what's coming up next? What are, what are we looking at for the summer? And... Um, vaguely. Vaguely. Oh, I was like, <laughs> yeah. 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 we got the green light. Not a date. Not a date. An yeah. album is coming. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Um, and I'm very excited about that. Um, I like that you look for permission. Yeah. Anything. That's great. Oh, yeah. We do That's have awesome. lots of plans. Some collabs. Ooh. Of course. Collabs are so important now. They're oh. like, so it, it's almost weird for somebody to do a song without a collab. Yeah, dude. It's that, it's that era. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, and then a lot of festivals. Right. Yeah. And, okay. we're looking at. and a lot of tan. <laughs> okay. One last question. Okay. Pre-show ritual. Mm. Do you have one? Vaguely. I always try to drink Red Bull. <laughs> I love Red Bull, okay. and I always listen to Drake every time. It's awesome. That's good. Yeah. Just we wish you we wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. I wish you yes. nothing but the best. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Next time you come through Charlotte, you always have a home at Kiss ninety five one. All right. We appreciate I'll come it. See y'all. All right. Awesome. Okay. It's our girl.